Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm out in a western Kentucky field with three 600-plus horsepower tractors seeding the 2020 winter wheat crop with 60-foot wide Horse Panther 60 air drills. These big tractors and air drills are seeding 1,200 acres of winter wheat per day, and by the time they've completed their job, they will have put in 11,000 acres of wheat for next year's crop. This farm is utilizing a 620 horsepower John Deere 9620RX tractor, a 620 horsepower John Deere 9620R four-wheel drive tractor with 12 tires, also known as triple tires, as well as a 600 horsepower Challenger MT875E to pull these big air drills. These big horse drills utilize all of the power from these big tractors. The two John Deere machines are pulling horse drills equipped with 500 bushel commodity tanks and the Challenger is pulling a drill with a 600 bushel commodity tank from Horsch. You may remember seeing these three tractors in the previous video posted on Big Tractor Power YouTube just before this one, where the farm utilizes eight big tractors to pull Wishig discs across the field to prepare the ground for winter wheat seeding. Those eight tractors cover 1,000 acres of day in tillage, but it only takes three big tractors with 60-foot drills to follow up after tillage to seed the crop across 11,000 acres. In this video, I'm gonna climb up in the cab of the Challenger MT875E track tractor and visit with a farmer and talk to him about what it's like to run these big air drills seeding the winter wheat, as well as how the farm has chosen to utilize different types of tractors. We have three different machines, one with triple tires, one with four tracks, and one with two tracks, and I'll talk about the advantages he sees in running each of those tractors. But first, let's head out to the field and see and hear these big machines at work putting in the winter wheat crop.
Coming in at a crooked, I had to get section control time enough to see out the front of it. I thought I had it lined up, but I guess I was a little farther over. If this thing comes into a curve, it, it doesn't see that it needs seed up where it has to be pretty straight on. Okay. Because it's such a delay in our air system. There's about a four second delay to get to see from the big uh, manifold to the opener. Well, at nine and a half miles per hour, that's a, that can be a big gap in yeah, four seconds. Great, a great big gap. Four seconds is a bunch. We're running 10 on our right now. Four seconds is a lot.
check for broken tips, loose bolts. Also, um, you've got three different kinds of tractors on these drills. We've got the two-track machine here. You've got a, a 9RX on four tracks and then a triple tire 9R. Do you like them all or what are, well, I guess what are the choices? And they all have their advantages. Uh, tracks cost more money. So uh, the four-track system, uh, the two-track system I think is the smoothest. Uh, but the four-track system is pretty darn smooth. But you do have more cost than tracks. Uh, you know, a uh, four-track system will pull you out of a mud hole better. Um, I was, I had this one stuck last night and I ran down the edge of a field that was really wet. And uh, the field was in good shape, but just the edges next to the trees, a different soil type. But, uh, uh, that four-track system can steer out of a mud hole a lot better than this one. This one's actually smoother to ride in, easier to get into. Um, Is it run down the road probably a little bit smoother too? It's a little, uh, just a little bit. Uh, uh, but the, the four-track system is a nice, nice machine. So, they, like I said, they all have their advantages and disadvantages. Machines, every one of them. The wheel track, of course, is a less expensive tractor. Um, while we have triples on ours, it does a good job uh, pulling. Uh, when we're running these kind of speeds, oh, uh, it, it can get a little it's, it's rougher on you, especially um, if you're crossing the ridges. It's a lot rougher machine. you've enjoyed spending some time on this large Western Kentucky family farm. There are three generations of family members involved in operating this farm on a daily basis, and I appreciate them letting me come out to visit the farm, to see this big equipment in operation, and the time they take to visit with me to share information with you here on YouTube. If you would like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. 
Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 